Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth with Beauty of Sela. I want to introduce Trello to all of you who want to organize your blog. As you can see, I use Trello for almost every aspect of my blog, and I'm going to break down most of these into videos for you all. Today, I just want to give a short introduction to Trello by making a couple boards and showing you what Trello can do. So let's create a board and name it. This is Trello, um, and you all you have to do is sign up with an email address and password and it's completely free and then it'll take you to a home page yours will look a little bit different than mine if you are just starting out because you won't have any boards um, but let's go ahead and create a board here and we are going to name this Trello for business and what this is going to do is create a totally new board and it will give you an option you can change the background to this it can be a solid color or there is a library of stock photos here that you can search through and change your background for so we're just going to change this background to this one right here all right so in your boards you have lists and then when you create a list, you can fill up the list with cards. So we're going to create a list here. And we're going to name this Need to Do. And then we're going to name this one Done. And um, you can just continue on when you're entering lists and press the Enter key. And it'll auto-populate so that you can just keep on adding lists. You can do the same thing with cards. You can add a card and press Enter and then you can continue to keep adding cards. So let's go ahead and add a card here. We're gonna name this need to update post and then need to publish post and need to promote post. All right, once we have these here, then we're going to add labels to these. So if you go over to your menu, and go back into the main menu and click on more you can select your labels and there are lots of different labels that you can name and then um, there's also different colors down here too so we're just going to name these can wait and important there's different options on how you can add labels to your cards. Um, if you click on the card and select labels, you can select your labels that way and it'll add the label to the post. Or you can use the short keys that Trello has, which are my favorite. You can hold over your mouse over the card and add a label. Now, the labels all correspond with numbers, and they start with number one. So green is number one, yellow is number two, orange is three, and, and red is four. So we can just hover over this and select three for orange, and four for red. And also what's really cool is if you click on these, they will become bigger and show you what the labels are. Now we're going to add dates to these cards. So if you click on the card, there's lots of different options in here. I'm gonna just show you how to add a due date. You click on this, and then you click the date that you would like it to be done by, and you can save that, and it'll add a date to your card. Now you can click that it is completed, it'll turn green. Um, when it's overdue, this will turn red. As you can see, it shows all the little activity that you've done in the card. Um, you can, if you're more than a one person team, you can add members to this card and say you delegate this to someone else on your team. You can select watch to make sure that it's done by them. You'll get notifications. Um, archiving is just basically deleting the card. You can move the cards around to different lists um, and different boards, and you can copy and paste it too. All right, so you can see now that there's a little date on the card. 
Let's also make a checklist. So let's see, we'll do it in the same card. And we can select a checklist. And we'll name this checklist outline. And then you can just add names to your checklist. So say this is an outline for a post, we can name the header one, header two, and header three. Of course, these would have actual names. Um, and then you can cross them off when you're done by clicking the little checkbox. And you can see it'll show you your progress. And it'll also show you on here. And even if you aren't all the way complete, it'll show you, say you've checked two out of three. All right, so as you remember, we created a list for done here. So say we have completed all of these things and we want to move them over to done. We can just drag and drop these cards over to a different list to prove that they're done. All right, so now what we're going to do is create another board for resources. So I'm just going to click here and select create a board. We're going to name it resources. And I always love changing the background of mine, so I'm just going to do courses. Let's see. Golf courses, hmm. We'll do this one. All right, so what's really cool is, say you've bought lots of courses and you want to keep them all in one place, we can make a list and name it um, different course names like Pinterest courses and monetize, monetization courses. I probably spelled that wrong. I did. Oh, well. All right. And let's say you have an online course and you want to keep track of that. So I have my manual pinning organization in Trello course here. And what you can do is select the URL and drag it over and drop it into a card. And that's one of the things that I absolutely love about Trello is that it will populate the card with a graphic of the site. And then if you click on it, it'll have the link to the site and if you click on the link, it opens it up in a new tab. All right, what you can also do is add PDFs in here. Now, some PDFs are very big files, and so you can't add all of them, but you can add some. So I'm just going to give an example. Um, I have Pop Pie Girls Niche Post Conversions course here. Um, it's a course that I definitely love, and you can just drag and drop it in here. And then if you click on it, it has the option for the PDF, and then you can just open it wherever you are. Um, it doesn't have to be saved to the computer that you're working on. You can just open it up from your Trello board. And I'll definitely link to both of these courses um, below. All right, so I've shown you a lot of what Trello can do, but not all of it. So make sure to stick around and subscribe so that you'll know when more free blogging tips are released by me. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this is Elizabeth from Beauty of Sela, the maker of the manual pinning organization course in Trello. Make sure to grab my course if you want to finally organize your pins. And I also just created a Facebook group called the Organized Blog Society. I'll link to it below. I'd love it if you joined so that we can get organized together. Talk to you guys soon.